all right so if you like that video press that like button that helps me out a ton you have no idea and today we are taking a look at the gdx 1630 news right now a very budget friendly gpu from nvidia you know that doesn't require a pcie six pin power connector i mean at least we're getting something right okay so what we know so far that this gpu will launch somewhere in mid june which is the 15th of june you know but from these specs i'm not very you know keen on it we are looking at a uh, 500 12 Kura Kurs GPU which is a bit underwhelming to be honest and the TDP is around 75 watts a uh, 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 VRAM but it actually doesn't really you know affect the performance that much in my opinion it's kind of like a marketing thing you know it's like you really GDDR5 for a budget GPU like that one would be okay and the bandwidth is theoretically around 96 gigabyte per second which is uh, okay for this price to be honest we're looking at around 20% difference when you compare it to the GDDR6 gdx 1650 for example now how about the performance and this is where it gets uh, a lot interesting actually uh from the tech power up gpu database so we haven't seen any benchmarks yet but this uh database is usually pretty uh consistent with the results and pretty accurate when it comes to the performance you know uh we are looking at performance near something like a gdx 1050 and this is where it kind of gets a little bit underwhelming but that's only we haven't seen benchmarks yet you know take it with a grain of sold actually uh but yeah for 120 dollars and you only get a gdx 1050 not even a ti uh version you know for that a lot underwhelming like this would have been like a great pick if it's for under 100 dollars like 90 80 that would be a huge 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 uh, gpu you know for the budget friendly market for the fact that it's only four gigs but it doesn't justify it being for 120 dollars if that makes any sense but at the benchmarks itself the leaked benchmarks we are looking at fire strike 1080p and then time spy 1440p and then fire strike extreme 4k so the 1080p we are looking at like 17 percent difference when you compare it to the 1050 ti so with some overclocking this would be around like what 10 percent or something i think if we could get a 10 percent difference only for, uh, between the 1630 and the 1050 ti that would be a huge dub at the time spy we're looking at only eight percent and the extreme seems to be around 50 percent which is crazy but hey that's um, yeah the benchmarks are all over the place and they don't feel accurate to be honest but this is where it gets a lot interesting guys this reminds me a lot about the gdx 1030 and the gdx 750 ti uh, the 750 ti is faster than the 1030 1030 anyways because it was for 70 dollars it was for the same price of the 750 ti somewhat close to that performance you know is a lot lower but it's brand new and it's more available than the 750 ti at the time because it was used you know so yeah given that it actually reminds me a lot of the way the gt 1030 was uh, i'm looking forward to this this gpu and i think it will be a great gpu for the budget friendly gamers so hey if you like the video press on that like button if you want to see more videos of that can subscribe see you in the next one and peace